Hi everyone, I'm Annie, an educator here at OMSI Science Playground. Today I'm going to share a fun activity for you to try at home. Slinky sounds! Now adults, as you try this activity with your child, focus in on those science process skills your child is using. Today's activity has opportunities to ask questions, observe, compare, experiment, learn about cause and effect, and communicate. To do slinky sounds, you'll need a slinky, we think metal works best, a plastic cup, and a way to clean your slinky before and after you use it. We'll scrub ours with soap and hot water and allow it to dry out before using. I'm going to ask you to put the slinky in your mouth, so let's start by washing it first. Once you're sure it's nice and clean, you'll want to set it out to dry. This activity is a great way to experience how our entire body senses sound. Think of a time when you've heard loud music and felt your chest rumble with the bass. Or maybe a time when you've heard your voice on a recording and thought, that doesn't sound like me. That's because the ways we sense sound are so much more than just our ears. To start this experiment, we'll begin with an observation. Remember that we can observe with more than just our eyes, and we'll use our ears for this one. Take your slinky and hold it at one end of it by just a few loops. Keep holding those loops. I'll put this cup in my pocket. Keep holding those few loops and drop the other end all the way to the floor. What did you observe or notice with your ears? It sounded kind of like a metallic zapping sound to me. Now, let's predict next. What would happen if you take those same few loops and put them in your teeth and repeated the experiment? Do you predict that the slinky will sound the same to you or different? Do you think your adult standing next to you will hear the same noise as you do? Or will they hear something different? Well, let's try. Hold those loops in your teeth and let the other end, let the other end hit the ground. Here we go. Whoa! What did you notice? Compare it to when you just listened with your ears. Did it make the same sound or was it different? Can you make that noise with your mouth? Or describe it? Now clean up the slinky and let your adult try it out. Compare what you heard. The noise of the slinky is different when we just hear it traveling through the air, our first experiment, and when we hear that noise plus the vibrations traveling through the bones of our face. Remember how different your voice sounds to you on a recording? That's because you're used to hearing your voice vibrate or move through the bones of your face all the time. When we hear our voices with just our ears, it sounds really weird. If you or your adult don't want to put the clean slinky into your mouth, that's cool. Just grab your plastic cup to act as a speaker. Put it in one end here. And the vibrations of the slinky will be made louder by the cup and get close to what you might hear if you put it into your mouth. All right, way to go, slinky scientists. We'd love to hear how this experiment turned out for you. Feel free to share pictures of you trying the Slinky Sounds experiment on our Facebook or Instagram page under this post.